1966, I was in the middle school when the Cultural Revolution started. The biggest nation on earth, China, is in turmoil. Is China's aging leader, Mao Zedong, losing control? Has Mao gone mad, driven perhaps to megalomania by the hysterical adulation of the teenage Red Guard? Of course, I join. It's uh, glorious to join here. Yeah. I was uh, totally uh, pour my energy, even my life, into it to support whatever Mao asked me to do. Mao had decided to mobilize the young people as the driving force of a vast campaign to purify the Communist Party. There was to be a new revolution, a cultural revolution, a revolution in people's thinking. We went to Beijing. Mao received us after we arrived. We woke up in the middle of night because uh, in the morning we are going to walk through uh, Tiananmen Square to see our great leader. It was exciting. We thought he was a guard. Inspired by Mao, the Red Guards went wild in their enthusiasm to keep the revolution alive. They worship Mao as their leader and follow his instructions without question. They consider long hair and Western-style clothes uncommunist. Teachers were the target of the political campaign. Mao kept taught us they have to receive the re-education by the worker and peasant. My female uh, teacher, I love. She likes to wear uh, beautiful clothes. She cares for appearance. There was a criminal uh, accusation. One boy went to her bedroom and lead so many people. She went there to cut her hair. I went there too late. The hair has been cut already. He was humiliated and I couldn't help. I couldn't help. I couldn't rescue her. Shame on me. Shame on me. After reports of riotings, beatings up and even murder, the Red Guards seem to have gone too far. Their leaders have told them to cool off and go and help with the harvest. The end of 1967, I began to kind of reflection, and I found that Mao was not in control of the Cultural Revolution. And we, lucky, live in the southern China. There is a choice to escape to uh, Hong Kong. I took this risk and began to my free life. I studied sociology and later on went to UC Berkeley for political science. In America, I settled with my family, children, grandchildren, and also my career, my business. I'm 70 now. Now is the Rega generation, 70. I hope that they reflect, they regret, they re-exam. What should we prevent this kind of human tragedy happen again.